hello guys how are you doing in this vlog we'll be taking you around manchester um, drive with us around manchester the city is quite nice and we'll be videoing as we are driving around manchester to see one of my sister so this is just me and gabriel in the car the traffic is not too bad but i realized that in manchester driving around manchester there are a lot of bus lanes like lanes that only buses could pass so if you're not careful you could drive in one of those lanes and get tickets so that's one of the difference and the shock realize that where we currently live we do have bus lane but it's just quite a few compared to Manchester that there are bus lanes literally on every road you pass on so you have to just be mindful and keep checking that you're not driving on bus routes <laughs> to be very annoying that you pass bus routes and then get ticket and I'm not sure how much bus route ticket is but we are just in the traffic because sometimes the bus routes will be empty but the routes for cars or vehicles will be blocked so you just have to be patient and wait for it to flow and in the video i'll be sharing three things i like about manchester one of them is that there are a lot of african people in manchester almost all the shops or all the places restaurants anywhere you pass you likely see african people in manchester it just makes you feel at home makes you feel like you're home away from home because you literally anywhere you go to you most likely see african people there and the second thing i like about manchester is the street food there are a lot of african food you see a lot of african restaurants and you can buy african food so while we were in manchester we stayed there for like three days and we had like seafood okra we which gabriel enjoyed we also had assorted good meat pepper soup we had isewu and isewu is like goat head and we also had nkwobi in fact before we went there we went for a nigerian party and you know we had to pre-order at the restaurant all of the things we want so before we went there we pre-ordered isia we pre-ordered nkwobi so the ukwobi is like cow leg i think it's cow leg so we pre-ordered that we also pre pre-ordered seafood okra so it's just okra the vegetable okra with seafood and we also pre-ordered assorted goat meat no assorted pepper soup like because we've not had all of this for a very long time and gabriel wanted to try it so we ended up pre-ordering all of these only for us to get to the restaurants when the food was served to us we first had the assorted pepper soup as starter we had that and by the time they brought the seafood okra we also had that but they we didn't really like the seafood okra because the fish they only used titus and i wasn't expecting titus in the fee in the soup i was expecting something else and also the seafood i was expecting to see a lot of you know me i know what i'm expecting to see gabriel has not had it before so he won't know what the soup is supposed to contain but i was expecting to see a lot of different seafood but we only had like small octopus which I'm, I'm not we didn't think it was worth the amount for the soup but we still had it anyway it was tasty but the seafood was barely any seafood in there and by the time after we had the assorted press soup we had the seafood okra the unkwabi and the isewu isewu is goat head with seasonings and sauce and all of that it's very delicious and the unkwabi is cow leg with sauce and all of that by the time they brought the isewu and the cow and the unkwobi we we didn't we were not able to eat it anymore because we were very full the person was a lot the seafood okra was a lot so we we made a mistake ordering all of those things so i think in the future if we are going to that kind of restaurants we will not pre-order because anyways even if you pre-order they will only make it when you arrive because they can't make it for you until you're there and you ask for the food 
and while we were there we tried to see if we could cancel any other but the restaurant people didn't find it funny that we wanted to cancel other that we've already pre-ordered it wasn't prepared though but because we've told them ahead they just made us had all of that but we anyways we took it we paid for it but we ended up not having it until the next day which we didn't really like um, another thing I like about Manchester is the clubs and the yeah the clubs the clubs are very nice oh my god it makes you feel like you're in Lagos it was really nice we they had a DJ the club we went to they had a DJ they had lots of Nigerian musics and other African musics as and they brought a Nigerian DJ and you know what it means to have a Nigerian DJ playing in a club in the UK so they had to play lots of nice music and there's also in the club where we went to there's also a session they do and they do like old school music that takes you down memory lanes of you going to parties or concerts or festivals and mu music carnivals back home so it made we were so happy in fact I started feeling like I want to relocate to Manchester which was really nice and we are looking forward to going back to Manchester so one of the things I didn't like about Manchester is that the place is too um, I would say it's too busy yeah it's too busy yeah that's one thing I don't like about Manchester that's one thing I don't like about Manchester. It's too busy, too crowded, too a lot. There are lots going on. I prefer uh, places that are quiet. If you want to go to the city centre, you go to the city centre. If you want to go to restaurants, not like everywhere things are going on. There are a lot of things going on. There are parties. There are restaurants. That so I just felt it was quite too busy for me. But it's just somewhere you could just go to just away from home to have a sort of busy life busy like weekend busy like day and then come back to your quiet life so tell me have you been to manchester in the comment section or what part of the uk have you been to and what do you like about manchester anywhere you are anyways tell me where the city you live and tell me three things you like about where you're living Thank you for watching today's vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like and share. And we will see you in the next video. Before we go, we would like Gabriel to share his opinion on the Nigerian food. So while we were at Manchester, you had Isewu, Nkwobi, pepper soup and seafood okra. Did you like it or did you not like it? So the food was amazing. The restaurant was nice uh i remain surprised the tastes but i loved i love them in uh, in the end so with next occasion for sure so will you be trying it next time next time for sure or i will prepare it myself in my kitchen can you prefer it to <laughs> say <with> yourself <laughs> i'm looking forward to trying your issue can you prefer it you say it was made it by a uh, cooker so i can cook as well if that guy do it i can do it as mm, well now your pepper soup that you add tomato uh, <laughs> uh, this pepper soup with tomato as well all right see you please don't forget to like subscribe and share bye